What up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual from the Casual.co and welcome to a special edition of What The Hell. And today we're talking the Kumbini. What the hell is it? And how it is one of the most necessary yet difficult places to enter for street fashion in Tokyo right now. Before that, let's go ahead and take a look at it. The Kombini is the newest installation by Hiroshi Fujiwara and the June Corporation and the spiritual successor to the exclusive limited shops, the Pool Aoyama and the Parking Ginza before it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with either of those, no worries, I'm gonna get you up to speed. Instead of coming out with new lines or labels, the godfather of streetwear in Tokyo himself, Hiroshi Fujiwara opens up these concept stores and they carry some of the most limited drops in Tokyo for streetwear. Collabs with Undercover, Neighborhood, and Double Taps are among the many that frequent these installations. The Kombini takes its cues and inspiration from the various convenience stores in Japan like 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and Lawson among others, and as a consequence, it is much smaller than its predecessors, leading to a very funky and ridiculous way to enter, but more on that later. It's a pretty dope spot located at the new Sony Park Ginza underground, and even though it takes a bit of an out of the way journey to get there, it's pretty unique all things considered. Apparel is put inside cans, bottles, and packages in lieu of hanging on racks and hangers, and to keep the theme in tow, even feature nutritional facts on the back, which is a pretty solid addition. The kombini, as it's pronounced in Japanese, as the V sound is notoriously hard for Japanese to say. It's like, the V sound is like bui. It's like we, so B will do. Anyway, it's already attracted brands like FR2, Neighborhood, Double Taps, and of course Fragment is in there, so expect no less than nearly every major brand to be a part of it in the coming weeks and months. All that being said, this place is incredibly hard to get into on launch days, and I'm assuming it's only launch days. The opening weekend was a bit tough as the Kombini employs some pretty strict rules to enter the shop, and it goes something like this. First, you gotta download the app. Then you gotta wait for a notification saying that you can enter into the lottery. You enter into the lottery and you receive an email saying wait until you've been confirmed. Once you get confirmed, they send you an email telling you what time and position in line that you are in. Then, once you line up, you have to have one of four types of identification, either a untemenkyosho, a driver's license, a passport, or passport, a shashinsuki jumin kihon daicho kado, which is like a residency card and a social security card, but they have to make sure that you gotta make sure that they have your face on it. Or a Shashinsky Gakseisho, which is basically a student ID with your face on it. But noticeably missing from that list, however, is a Zairyu Kado, which is a residency card that all foreigners get at immigration if they live in Japan, which is odd because Ask any foreigners that live in Japan, and even though we all have a passport, we never carry them because we have this immigration card, which is like the highest form of identification for a foreigner in Japan. We just don't carry passports, and it's super hard to get. Just as frustrating, you go to Shinagawa and you wait hours upon hours behind thousands of people. I don't even want to talk about it, but that is seriously ridiculous that they don't do that. And this is my only knock on the place, outside of being a little bit small for my taste. But in order to curb out of the country resellers, the Kombini has employed some serious draconian tactics for the shop. And while I suspect this is only on major launch days, it can be quite frustrating for those that one, can't really get the app, two, can't read the Japanese outlining the permissible IDs, and three, simply forgot to register for the lottery system that requires the app. So it's just confusing. So there, at least you know the info now. I gave it to you just right then. So never say I didn't do anything for you. Basically, it's pretty much the definition of 
extra. It even got me. I thought, you know, I thought, I thought I was hot stuff. I had my Zydeu card though, I had my immigration card, I had my ID, I was like, I'm gonna be fine. I'm like the only foreigner in line. I'm thinking I'm special. I'm like, yo, I know Japanese, I can read this. Wrong, wrong. I had to go back and get my passport like a dummy. Like a dummy. But it's still an incredible installation. I got some stuff that'll be on the shop soon. So be sure to keep it locked right here if you want a chance to get some of that stuff. But still, like a dummy. <laughs> but you can go ahead and follow on Instagram. That should be popping up right here and get the announcement or, or you can become a member on Patreon to get first dibs, the first announcement there and discounts as well. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Combini and its new tactics, these new employee tactics? Should everybody do it? Should they chill or whatever? Let me know. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. So stay, mother yate inai nara, subscribe with serenai yoni. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku nagashimasu. And I'll see you guys in a minute.